welcome to black bean burgers. For this recipe, you're going to need one can of black beans, one tablespoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of cumin, two thirds of a cup of breadcrumbs, half of a green bell pepper, half of an onion, two garlic cloves, one large egg, some salt and pepper to taste, and our buns. So let's get started by opening our can of black beans. You can use a 15 ounce can, but this one is a 19 ounce can. We are then going to strain out and rinse our black beans in the sink and I'm gonna bring them back to our bowl. We want to take out as much moisture as we can from the beans and the recipe in total. So I'm gonna use a paper towel and just stir and kind of blot the beans to get rid of the excess moisture. And when your beans are blotted and rid of the moisture, I'm going to grab our cutting board and we're gonna begin cutting up our vegetables. So we have our green pepper, our onion, and our two garlic cloves. If you have a food processor, this process will be much easier for you. However, I didn't have a food processor, so I had to mince our vegetables together. So I'm cutting out half of the green pepper, getting our garlic cloves ready, and I'm gonna cut half of the onion. And with everything ready, I am going to begin chopping our vegetables into very fine, small, tiny pieces. Once all of my vegetables have been chopped, I'm gonna take a larger knife and just mix them all together on my cutting board and just chopping my knife through back and forth until I've got it minced to the best of my ability. After chopping and mincing those vegetables, they're gonna have some moisture come out of them. So I'm gonna take a paper towel and just scoop the vegetables onto the paper towel and I'm going to gently and firmly squeeze the water and the moisture out of the vegetables. I'm just squeezing and I'm gonna set it to the side for now as we get our beans ready. I started out with using a fork to try and mash the beans together and it worked for a time, but then I decided to use a potato masher and that seemed to work a lot better. Once those beans are mashed, I'm then going to grab the vegetables that we cut previously and just open up the paper towel and drop those in the bowl. Then we'll give that a good stir and combine those ingredients. And once that is mixed, we are going to grab our spices going to be the one teaspoon of ground cumin. I'm gonna add that to the bowl and next I'm going to take the chili powder measure out my one tablespoon for that and then add that to the bowl. Then you can add your salt and pepper to taste and we're gonna mix all of those ingredients together. And now that we have mixed it to the best of our ability and our ingredients are well combined, we are then going to grab an egg. I'm gonna take a separate bowl and crack the egg in there first. I'm then going to beat the egg before adding it to my bigger mixing bowl with the beans. And 
next we are going to mix that mixture up and make sure the egg is well combined with our bean mixture and then for our next step we are going to take our two-thirds of a cup of breadcrumbs and add that to the bowl and of course we grab our fork or spoon and mix all those ingredients together and just before we start forming our patties, I'm going to preheat the oven to 375 degrees. And now with clean hands, we are then going to begin forming our patties with the bean mixture. How many this makes will depend on how big you would like to make your patties. This size of patty got me, I think about four, but you can make them smaller to make five or six. I'm first starting off by forming them in balls and then I'm going to gently and firmly press them flat because we want the bean mixture to stay as intact as possible. I'm just gently using my fingertips to mold and shape the patty so that they're ready for the oven. And now you can put them in the fridge for later or you can cook them right away. These are going to be cooked for 10 minutes on each side. And while that is cooking, I'm going to put together my chipotle mayo sauce. So I'm gonna to put together about three tablespoons of mayo, and then I'm going to add about three teaspoons of chipotle hot sauce. It doesn't look like I added that much here, but I added some more of the sauce later on. And now we have our chipotle mayo sauce. And we have our burger buns. 10 minutes is up, it's time to flip them. And after another 10 minutes, our burgers will be ready to eat. For a little spice, we're gonna add the sauce to the burger if you would like, or any of your favorite toppings. I hope you guys enjoy making these black bean burgers and hope you enjoy eating them even more. Until next time, my friends, bye ma pee.